Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the video series. I hope you are all doing well. In this part of the video series we will see how to do UV unwrapping of this Morningstar weapon model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. In the previous video we have seen how to create the model, and now, let's start with the UV unwrapping of this model. Let's hide this reference image in the layer. And now select this part and isolate it. Change this tab from Animation to Modeling. And now go to UV and select UV Editor. After that, select this object and go to UV, then select Planar Mapping Option box. Over here, select Z axis, and then click on Apply. And now, go to Edge Mode, select this bottom edge loop, and make a cut from UV Editor. Then select one of the side edge loop, and make a cut. And now, go to UV Mode, select all the UVs, then hold Shift, right click, go to Unfold, and then again Unfold. And now, rotate the UVs, and make them straight, and then lay out them. I will open the UV editor in another display tab, so that it will give me enough space to work. And now, I will keep this object in a layer, and hide the visibility of the layer. Now, select another object and then isolate it. Now also for this object I will project a planar map from Z axis. So go to UV, and then click on planar. Then go to Edge Mode, select this edge loop, and cut. And now select this UV shell, and unfold it. Then rotate the UV shell, and make it straight, and then lay out them. And now, let's do the UV unwrapping of this sphere. Let's unfold the default UVs, and see how is it coming out. It's not coming out properly. So let's project a planar mapping from Y axis and see how is it coming out. Go to UV and select planar mapping option box. And over here, select Y axis and then apply. And now, go to edge mode, select this middle edge loop and cut. Then select this UV shell and move it down and then select all the UV shells, and unfold them, and then lay out them. This UV distribution is looking good, let's keep it like this. And now, let's unfold these spikes. Select this topmost spike and isolate it. Then go to UV, and select Planar Mapping Option Box. Over here, select Z axis, and then click on Apply. And then go to Edge Mode, and select one of the side edge loop, and then cut. And then unfold the UV shell, and lay out them. Now turn off the isolation button, and then let's transfer the UV attributes to the rest of the spikes. Now then, first select the main spike, then shift select another one, and then go to mesh, and select transfer attribute option box. Here I will click on reset settings, to bring back the default settings of the option box. And now select this topology and click on apply. Since the spikes are duplicated from one object, that's why they have the same topology. So the UVs will be transferred to the other spikes as well. And now, shift select one by one, and then press G key to repeat the last command. As you can see, all the spikes have the same UV distribution. Now then, select all the objects, and go to edit and delete history, so that the UV attributes can be separated for each of the spike. 
And now turn on the visibility of all the meshes, and then drag and select all of them, then go to UV mode, select all the UV shells, and then lay out them. And now, you can assign a new material to this object, and apply checker texture to it, and then increase the tiling of the checker texture, and check whether there are any distortion in the distribution of the texture. The UV unwrapping part is complete now. In the next video we will do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.